What is going on, guys? We are back with another video. We are back on the Falcons primetime franchise, and we are going against the 7-6 and six Cardinals. And you might think, 7-6, and six, that's not too great, except for the fact that uh, they are on a six-win streak. And by the way, we found this amazing stud who's going to be our starting defensive end in our 3-4 because look at how good he is. He's 23. He's a rookie. He's insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, of course, here's I am showing the win streak for the Cardinals. So, obviously, I mean, we're going to end it. Come on, let's be honest. At least, hopefully. Um, 84 overall to our, like, 82. We are 9-4, and four and we are out. I mean, we're in the playoffs, but we're out of the uh, division uh, right now. I don't want to go through the wild card. I really want to win the division. But, any, I mean, to be honest... Yeah, you get a home game, but at the end of the day, it still doesn't really matter because as long as you aren't going to get a bye, there's really nothing to play for. And look at us right out the gate. I mean, really, we do. We don't even really want. Like, if you're not going to get the bye week, you don't even want to get um, the division because as of right now, we're going to look at a little bit better of a pick if we don't make it far into the playoffs, assuming we even make it. And that, I mean, the throws like those aren't going to get you there. Fourth and four, obviously, we're going to take our field goal. Or are we going for the throw? Matt Ryan on the fake, and he throws an interception, I believe, to Tyron Matthew. And we do force him out. No real harm there. I mean, we obviously lost three points on the board, but we've seen in the past that that play has worked for us nicely. Didn't work there, though. Second and six, David Johnson gain of about three. So it is going to be third and three. Screen play here, and that's going to be almost a sack because we read it. So that does give us the ball back. Kind of similar situation how we did start. And look at Freeman getting yards. Not quite enough, but it is going to be third and short. Very manageable. Third and two running a pitch to the right. And Freeman should easily get that. Obviously, we could have went outside and maybe followed the block of number 62. But got a little nervous, so we just went for what we could get. And Connor Cook missing the throw there. As you guys know, Matt Ryan, like I said, he is back. And ooh, almost the first. Can't quite get it. He is back, but Connor Cook's been the hot hand. No point in replacing him until he really blows. I want him to be the future. Honestly, Matt Ryan's getting old. Can't, oh, what a hit. Can't really uh, progress him. Maybe we can get something out of him. He's very expensive as well. Not sure if we can, though. We'll have to find out. Third and eight, a little wild car, uh, wild cat action, and it wasn't quite successful. Nothing big on the kick punt return, but, you know, we're going to show those kick returns and punt returns. As much as we can, as long as Cardona does something good. Look at the shit vision there. Should have cut it right, but I go for the big plays. When I'm running the ball, I go for the wide open field, and we had a guy wide open. But of course, the center spot didn't work out too well for us. First and 10, overthrown. Should have been picked off by uh, Jalen Collins, but wasn't. But when I run the ball and I have a lane, I try to go for the big play. I don't go for the you know the 15 yarder. I'm looking for the 60 yarder, the 70 yarder. Which obviously going left give us the best chance, but going right would have given us the 15 automatically. Third and 10, tipped, and it should have been picked off by Jalen Collins again. Regardless, we do get the ball. We are at the 38-yard line already. Julio Jones burning across the middle of the field. That's going to be a first down. Second and 10 now from midfield, just about rolling out to the right. Connor Cook missing another throw. Can't really hold him against that. That was a tough throw. Third and 10, going to go with something he can't miss. A screen pass, and Cordero Patterson. Look at the moves there. Getting the first down. That is so freaking clutch. Should automatically get the clutch straight after that. Second and eight. A little bit of pressure from the outside. Sanu with the stiff arms. Man, that looked pretty spectacular. Third and two now. Looking for this first down. Have a couple of guys open. Connor Cook misses anyways. Penalty on the offense. Holding, and it was a missed throw. But he does accept it to try to get us out of field goal range, which, I mean, it's a smart move unless we convert it. And Cordero gets us right to back to where beep, 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 right back to where we were. Three-point lead. I don't know why the hell we have the ball back. I don't know what happened. I think it was just a three and out. Got the ball back at midfield. Julio Jones gets the catch for a first down. Looking to throw. Connor Cook has time, and it's going to be a fumble. And big men can't catch big men. That's going to be a touchdown. Freeman kind of gets close, though. Going to be a touchdown recovery from the very lucky fumble. Sucks. Connor Cook decided to hand that one away. Wide open. Wilson gets the catch. Great throw there. Got plenty of time to try to score right before halftime. 
Screenplay gets PI'd, but gets the play. And Patterson gets caught up on an offensive lineman. That really sucks. The vision not there from us. Third and five, looking for the first down. He tries to get the pick, doesn't. It's going to be a first down easily. 50 seconds left. Timeouts a plenty. Should have plenty of time to get down the field. And Hooper has all the room in the world. But, of course, a BS holding EA, even in franchise, trying to screw us. Because we obviously know that was a BS penalty again. Because why would a guy hold? Why would a right tackle hold after the ball has already been thrown and the guy's already running downfield? That makes absolutely no sense. First and 20 conversion almost. Got to the second and five mark and is now third and nine, though. Looking for someone, and we do find someone. The rookie Chambers. Down to the 37, 14 seconds left. Got plenty of time, kind of, but do want to try to keep this down and short. Of course, Hooper catches it. He fights for yardage. Complete blown um, opportunity there. Don't even get the field goal. So that's going to be a 3-7 to seven deficit into the half with him getting the ball. So this isn't looking like our best performance so far to the outside. He actually tried to throw that. You could tell it wasn't a throwaway. Very rough decision as that probably should have been picked, but it was overthrown. Third and 12 looking deep. And it's going to actually be picked off by Collins off the tip. Can't be mad with that. I want him to get more stats. Plus, the punt would have been around there anyways. So, either way, I mean, we get the ball back, which is huge. Looking for someone over the middle. I can't believe I made that bad of a decision. So, throwing a pick in this game, but it was a decision on my own. Had nothing to do with Connor Cook, which is good. First or second and 11, throwing a pick to Keanu Neal. We trade away turnovers, which is all right because we did get the ball back. Coming with that sleazy little, I'm going to be honest, sleazy little uh, blitz to the outside again. Got it the throw off before he had a chance. And look at how stupid we are here. A is wide open. Don't make the throw, so it's going to be a punt. Lots of, uh, lots of no scoring in this situation. Oh, my God, what a hit stick. Not a whole lot of scoring in this game, but still a whole quarter and a half left to play. Things can change. David Johnson, I believe he is going to be short. It's going to be fourth and inches. Going to go for the punt from midfield, and he's going to go for the fake, but he can't get it. This is our opportunity to at least go only down by one second and eight. Looking for the potential run play here. It's exactly what's going to happen. Freeman, our vision was there. It's just we didn't have the reaction time to get back left. Either way, we gain a good bit of yards, and Freeman's got room. But once again, offensive lineman gets in the way. So now we're at the 18-yard line instead of another touchdown, uh, or our first touchdown, I guess, on the game. Freeman on the screen, and Freeman's got room. Bites on the little slowdown move, and that's going to be the first touchdown of the game, giving us the first lead of the game, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. First touchdown of the game, at least going to be play action i thought it was gonna be some run but it wasn't and uh the youngster that we just picked up looking really good off that edge third and 11 over the middle huge hit absolute giant hit fourth and two it's gonna be a punt we are up by three we have a chance to return it which we will and running down decently and look at allen ricardo allen's got room running down the sideline to the 20 all the way down to the 18. What an insane play for Ricardo Allen. That is so huge. First and 10 to the outside. Freeman don't quite have the yards or the, the speed to get that one, which is a little shocking. Third and six. I think this is a great call. The blocking just wasn't great. And that's a face mask, 100%. They didn't call it, though, so it is going to be a six-point lead. Really surprised they didn't call that face mask. It was clear as day over the middle. Big hit, so he still holds on. Plenty of time to try to win this game. We really need every win we can get from now on in. And Robbins, the rookie that we signed from free agency off of someone's practice squad, does well. And that should have been a pick. Six somehow isn't. And he almost turned it into a touchdown. A lot of unlucky things have happened for us this game. Luckily, our defense has been very, very solid. Look at that hit by Beasley. First down nonetheless, though, as he holds on to it. Another screen play. And he doesn't throw it to it. Dropped pick again, this time by Keanu Neal. And it was on the offense. It was another one of those BS offensive holding calls. But this time for him, we, of course, decline it. Try to force as many opportunities for him to have to turn over the ball as we can. Looking for someone deep in Ishmael with the pick. That is going to be down at the one. I don't know why he went forward. I was really, 
really see what I am, but from the one yard line, first and ten, Julio Jones with the catch, and look at Julio, he's gotten one man to be realistically, and let's be honest, he is way too quick, that's going to be a 99 yard touchdown for Julio Jones, both, I believe, their first 99 yard touchdowns in their careers, and look at Robbins doing the work again, Grady Jarrett with a great recovery, Second and eight, looking for the run, and Freeman. Look at Freeman with the vision bouncing off of a player. And, of course, this is going to be us kneeling for the win at the two-yard line. We kneeled it at the one. Obviously, we could have ran it in if we really wanted to, but it is what it is. I, you know, I'm not going to do that if I don't need to. Maybe if it was a closer game, but obviously that would just be running up the score. So that was a solid game by us. We really came alive in the fourth quarter. It was anyone's game until the fourth. And then, I mean, that was a really big spark, too. Ricardo Allen, that was a sick return on the punt. Not the fastest man in the world, not the biggest man in the world, but got that elusiveness rolling, and he snuck out for a huge return. So, very good for us. We are now 10-4, and four, looking at the final two games against the Packers and Saints. The Saints matchup is really huge as... Um, even if we win this game here, we could be knocked out of the playoffs, assuming we lose last game. There's two scenarios now. Uh, well, there's three scenarios. We keep winning. Um, we get the Rams to lose or the Saints to lose a bunch. Uh, there's two games left, and it's really close. So I, I really don't know the options. So I'm just going to you know, do the simple option of just keep winning. Uh, it, it's not the most favorable situation, but of the three teams with two spots left, I think we're going to at least be one of them. So hopefully that does hold out for us. We made a surprising run last year. If you didn't watch that, um, I'd recommend it because we lost like three or four huge name players, and yet we won a game, and we almost took a second game that we weren't expected to win either, and we just barely missed out. It was absolutely insane how hard we fought to almost get to that championship game. Obviously here we're going to have another tough route, but injuries don't appear to be an issue yet, so hopefully that'll be the case that will be clean and ready to go. But obviously, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. Look at the defense locking down, by the way. But yeah, I mean, I don't know about the MVP race or any of the awards, but hopefully we can win something or just get decent XP. Obviously, we want our younger guys to get going. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the videos for the weekend. I don't know what they're going to be, but there's going to be at least one or two, maybe three. Who knows? But uh, hopefully, you guys come back for next video. But until next video... See ya!